Robots are not going to take over the human race anytime in future. Whatever could be defined as a process can be automated using artificial intelligence. But artificial intelligence cannot make us feel, cannot make us love, uh, cannot get all the chemistry, the chemicals, the intricacies of the human brain transported into a machine. Um, I see AI more as an enabler. The robots are not going to take over. I think um, machine learning, uh, artificial intelligence has a lot of potential and it has a potential to disrupt many industries, uh, destroy many jobs, but it's also going to create many jobs. Why is that? I think AI is excellent when you have a lot of data, if you have fairly clear-cut performance indicators, but as soon as you have a lot of ambiguity, uh, the human brain will supreme. In terms of the AI landscape, if we look at the US, all the hoo-ha is about the valley. Uh, if you look at a lot of innovation coming in the industries, it has all come, a lot of it has come in the automotive sector from Germany, in many other sectors. Um, I genuinely believe this country has all the potential and Central Europe has all the potential to be a significant player in AI as well. There is a fundamental gap in the AI landscape. Uh, if you look at AI and what drivers actually drive the value, you have four elements. We have computational power, we have algorithms, we have data, but the most important, we need people. And we need people who can translate business problems into problems in data science. These translators uh, are the ones who need to understand the domain and at the same time the, the fundamentals of AI. And I think that's where uh, Frankfurt School and Inoplexus together through this event as an initiative can play a significant role in building that capability. Because once that capability is built, we have the traditional sectors here already. If we could find translators, it would create an enormous multiple to leverage AI in solving real problems. Well, innovation is a joint effort, right? And I think um, if you want to innovate, you've got to build uh, a strong business ecosystem, right? You need to have different players uh, in, in place that can support you. You need to have the, the data, you need to have the scientists, you need to have the people that really understand business problems and can translate this into algorithms. So I think it's all about uh, building uh, a strong business ecosystem uh, to support and promote innovation. And I think the AI Summit is one way to build such an ecosystem. I think that the bottleneck is, is really, I mean, people that have a strong technical background on the one hand, but also have a passion for solving uh, business problems on the other, right? That is, I think, a rare beast, right? And there's a program is aimed at developing exactly these people. Right? And I think uh, those are the people that are going to be in high demand in order uh, to bring about the AI revolution. I would say the most fascinating AI project is Inoplexus. It all started with a dream. Uh, one of uh, my very, uh, very good friends and my mentors called me one late evening to inform me that he was diagnosed with cancer. After that, there were many days that I spent in the Licha Krankenhaus in the hospital at Lich, uh, working from his room, asking questions like, what could be the alternative therapies? Where are studies taking place? Are there other physicians, key opinion leaders, whom we can reach out to, to get a second opinion? And it was really difficult to get these insights. Imagine a world wherein a patient and his or her family, instead of being rendered hopeless and helpless, can throw all their information into a system. And the system says, well, for second opinion, contact Dr. So-and-so at University of Heidelberg. Uh, there are five studies taking place and at these sites in Europe. You could add so much value uh, to better patient uh, outcomes, to better healthcare outcomes. So of course, we are trying to play a bit on that note, but also in financial services and automotive industry. And that's the very idea. 
We want people who are innately curious, who would look at problems that frustrate them. They would come with a dream in this master program and they would be taught fundamentals of AI, the tools, the skills. They would apply them to change something for the better. I think the AI Summit is for all the people that really want to understand what are the potential and the pitfalls of artificial intelligence and machine learning. Right? I mean, all the people that are interested in how these technologies can solve the problems of humankind, right? and also problems in society and economics. So I think everybody is interested in these questions as a uh, potential audience. All curious minds coming in from different sectors. There is a lot about uh, cross-industry innovation. Uh, what we have been doing in life science, we are trying to get the same fundamentals, the same uh, tools and techniques applied into financial services. And you see a lot that works in financial services can solve a lot of problems in life science. So automotive industry, uh, you could look at utilities, all these sectors have problems that could borrow in ideas from what has actually worked in life science and financial services. So I would look at students, thought leaders, enthusiasts, curious minds from different sectors to come in and share their experiences. The wish is when they go out, they at least have one or two ideas that they believe are worth trying for that would have a positive impact, not just in their sectors, but eventually, quite cliche, uh, but at the human race. Our hope is that the region is going to become an ecosystem for AI-enabled organizations, like Inoplexus, like Frankfurt School, like many other startup uh, companies in the region, but also more established uh, companies who are heavily investing into this, right? And I think uh, there's no other choice in it. Uh, in if we want to continue to create jobs, if we want to continue to be a vibrant business uh, community here, I think there's no choice than embracing the opportunities that machine learning AI uh, creates.